All right, folks, so we are gonna be um, t taking this dollhouse right here, and we're gonna sand it down, repaint it, and we're gonna, on the inside, we're gonna do some renovations. So, um, obviously, there's only three rooms, there's no bathroom or anything. So, the person that I'm doing this for, my sister-in-law, um, or it's actually really my niece. My niece wanted a dollhouse for Christmas, and so instead of buying one and making it and painting it and everything, uh, my sister-in-law just bought one that somebody didn't want anymore. So I'm gonna be getting this, hey Bucky. I'm gonna be getting this and just redoing it. Um, and I, I can tell right now, there's some things missing on the roof, there's little panels missing. And so we're gonna repaint the shutters and this, we're just gonna repaint literally everything. And as I said, we're going to add some sort of wall or divider somewhere in through here. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a wall here and then we're gonna do a wall here and another wall here. So we can have a bathroom and a huge bedroom and then we'll have a little kitchen and dining room and living room. So that'll be pretty cool. So here are the paints. Um, these are paints from my niece's um, Nana. Nana's house because she wants her dollhouse to look like Nana's house. Um, so it's like, this is like an off-white sort of, and this is a black. And then, so she's giving me a few of the things that she wants to separate with, but she has a lot of the furniture at her house because she wanted to do that part. But, so here's some like, just some really cool decorations. So you've got like, little wreath of some sort, some lights, benches, potted plants, just really simple stuff. And then we'll cut this up and maybe make little flower beds somewhere along here for it. But anyways, let's get into getting this thing looking very snazzy. So I'm gonna go grab some sandpaper real quick. I think that's where we better start off. Um, and then we wanna, I, I definitely want to repair this right here. Um, and there's a lot of like nicks on here. So if I can figure out some way to fix those, I'm definitely gonna fix those. But I'm gonna go grab some sandpaper and start sanding. Okay, so this doesn't make any sense. So I put a nail in this, but it's not, it just goes straight through the wood. It's not connected to the actual frame of the house. And this thing is solid on there. So I don't understand why they did that. I'll have to patch that hole, which is unfortunate. Where'd my sandpaper go? So I don't understand why they did that. That makes no sense at all. I just came back from going inside for a second <laughs> and um, somehow she thinks this is her spot. Hmm. No, I'm afraid to step. Oh, no, don't touch. Oh, you did you just get stuck on it? No. No, cat, get down. <laughs>
why don't we just use no sand? Why are we sanding this? No sand would be so much better. But isn't it expensive? Not when you don't have to pay for it. <laughs> uh, I don't think we have any here, do we? Oh. I have been sanding for three hours, four hours probably in all. Um, <clears throat> this is very slow. This is slower than I thought it would be. And I'm really glad I started right now. And so I have a lot of time. Um, I have like sawdust all over my fingers. My fingers hurt from rubbing it. Um, also, if I have time, I want to try to make her some uh, decorations and furniture. She does have some, but I want to make her some so it can kind of be like my Christmas gift to her. That would be pretty great. What? I started writing. Hmm. Anyways. Oh my gosh. So there's a few things, like in the top of the roof right here, there's a whole bunch of things um, right here. And in the siding right on here, there's it's like all torn up. Um, so I was wondering if you want me to like fix that or just leave it. So I have just gotten this beautiful uh, bookshelf for our dollhouse. Um, I've just gotten it from my sister-in-law. So I'm going to be making later some books that will fit into this. So that way she can have decorations on her bookshelf that's going to be in her house. So it's actually quite nicely done. I am very impressed with it. Now it is quite small compared to the house, but that, that's alright. Um, it looks pretty good and I'm gonna make some smashing books for it. Trust me. And yes, I still have not done the painting. I know, I know I'm going to, but first I need to glue here where some the pieces are jiggly and loose. And then tomorrow, which is Monday, because today is Sunday, and I just got back from church, I will start painting. Hopefully, maybe, possibly. I don't know what's going on Monday. We'll see. But yeah, so let's go to Monday. Okay, so it's, it's Monday, and tomorrow I work, and we have to leave in like three hours to go watch a movie and then drop me off at the house so I can work tomorrow, and anyways, yeah. I have three hours, not really three hours, like maybe two hours, to get a coat of black paint on the house. Now, the thing is, I would do it outside, but it is now starting to feel like December. Wait, December? We're in December, right? September. I don't actually know. I think it's September. I'm not sure. Anyways, I should know, but so um, I have resulted to moving into the shop, which I didn't want to do, but I'm going to. And so yeah, I'm going to get cut a paint on this thing right now, hopefully. So I'm going to set you guys up and then do another time lapse. This video is literally going to consist of like 10 time lapses and that's it. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah. And today is Monday, if I didn't already say that. So it's been about a week since I got this, probably. Uh, yeah, it's been eight days since I got this. So I need to hurry and get this done so I can work on other things for inside the house that I'm going to give to her for Christmas. So I really need to hurry this up, and that's why I'm doing a coat of paint right now. So I'm going to set you guys up, and then I'm going to start painting. Okay, so, um, actually, let me show you my work clothes real quick, and I'll be back. Okay, that's better. Alright, so while editing this, I'm realizing I have like almost an hour of footage just of me painting. Now, it is boring to sit through somebody painting and I like put in like five hours off camera or something crazy like that. Anyways, so what I'm going to do, instead of showing you 
little spots of everything. I'm just going to, every single day that I worked on it, I'm going to get a couple clips and they're going to be in total about 30 seconds long. And then I will have, just before that, me either saying that it's Thursday, Friday, or whatever day it was, or in the on the screen, it'll have a little thing that says what day it was that I'm working. So you can see kind of the days that I'm working, and you can kind of see the progression, but you don't have to sit through five hours of painting. So I'm going to do that instead because... I don't want to make this video an hour long. I want it to be sweet and simple, about 15, maybe 20 minutes. I prefer to keep it at 15 though. We'll see how we do. Okay, it's looking so good. Um, so, yeah, it's looking pretty good. I have pretty much black coat on everything except this um, window. Max, good enough, honestly. I might do that another time. The black is pretty much going to be top white, which is super cool. But guess what? I am sick and tired of painting. I have been painting for days and days, and I'm done. I am so done with painting. So instead, right now. I'm gonna take a break from painting, and I'm gonna make the books to go in the bookshelf. Because I have, let's see, today is Thursday, I have Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I have three days to get that done. Put like two or three coats of white on it. I think I can get that done at that. So, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on this because I'm just so done with painting. Now, this is the first time I've worked at the desk since I've redone it. So I'm gonna have to figure out a place to stick you guys. Um, yeah, so if you haven't watched the last video, you should definitely do that because why not? You know? Okay, so I think it's work. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, wait. Okay. Anyways. So I have a two piece of two by four. And so it can only, it can be a maximum of one inch. Wait a minute, no. How far did you do? How deep was it? Where's my mark? Yeah, one inch. Yeah, so it needs to be about a one inch by one inch. Now, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a block one inch by one inch, so a cube because that's the max size it can be. And then I'll use my little small chisels right here. My little small chisels. And I will cut little book binds in it and just try to make it look really cool. So, let me do the measurements really quickly. Um, gonna cut it out. And that, you know, yeah, so, I'll, okay, so I made a line. So I'm gonna cut this off, because this is one inch, and then I'm gonna cut it this way, which is one inch, and then I can chop it this way to however many books I want. I couldn't keep this whole thing long, and then that way I could, um, you know what, I'm just gonna shut up and go cut it. blocks for the bookshelf. I made them fit everywhere. Um holy crap those are huge. You're gonna cut them off of that. I would actually use the table saw. What? You're gonna cut these out? No. You're just gonna write on it? No! I'm gonna chisel it out. I'm gonna give me, give me. I would literally I'm not kidding, I would I would use the table saw. The table saw. Yep. Take it down. That is literally like a saw blade. Right? Take it down to that, cut it, and then raise it. Do it. And it would take a long time, but it might work. A long time. I would do look, 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 look. I have a chisel. That, not that one. You're just going to etch the front of it, and then you're going to leave the rest of it. No, look. What the frick? Where's my other chisel? There it is. Okay. Oh, here, here it is. Here it is. No, no that is my bubble gum. You do not take my bubble gum. So, look, I'm going to. Do this right here, so it's like the edges of the book, and it rounds in. 
Oh, I am hot. hot. I am so hot. Dude, <laughs> yeah, I'm hotter than the cold cream. And then, shut up. And then I'm gonna get the chisel and chisel off some of the top of it. And then I'll chisel some of them in to where they're like different depths. Found them in the stupid box because somebody took my pencil that's green and has my initials on it. No, Elijah, you got that. Not yours, you're a liar. Anyways, <clears throat> um, so I've marked, put some lines on it, and. I have like three days, I know, and I'm gonna. It'll, it'll be fine. I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> it'll be good. I'm tired of working on it. I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna do that. Because I really want to break. Important. Well, this is important too. What color is this item going? It's uh, cream, so it's pretty much what's already on it. So I'm really only doing it to cover up the little bit of black that I got on it. This item. Anyways, now some of these I'm gonna cut to where they're little bunches of books instead of a whole thing of books. Um, Okay, and then I can also use the scroll saw and cut it in a little bit so I don't have to do that with the chisel. But it's pretty cool. So I have three of them also. You didn't notice. We use something like this. I did the outline of the books that I wanted, and then I got the scroll saw and went in down to the line of each book because obviously I don't want each book to the same height. That way I can get my chisel, and if I just go straight back, it'll knock that one top piece off that I don't want for that book. So it's uh, pretty simple, pretty nice, and I'm gonna get some candy, because why not. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That looks so good, but I've been working on this for a long time, but it, it's paid off, like that looks good. Okay, so, uh oh. Now, we are going to paint. I really don't want to do painting again. But I'm gonna go get my brushes. I'm gonna do it anyways because it needs done. And this is gonna look so good. Who's that? Oh, it's me. Hey, if you're if you made it this far, could you subscribe? I mean if you subscribe, that helps me out a lot. Also hit the like button, share it around. And check out my business. Uh, also share my business around, maybe if you need some late Christmas stuff. Um, so yeah, it would help me out a lot. Oh boy, it's Wednesday, and I told her I'd have it done by Thursday. No, later than Thursday. Oh, that's not good. Oh, fudge. That is not good. Oh no. Oh no. That is not good. It's not. Nathan. That is really not good. No! Uh, it's peeling. Why is it coming off? Fudge, I don't have time for this. That's coming off way too easy. Okay, okay. What did you do the bottom? Nate, you're not even doing your job. Okay, huh? it was just the top. See, the bottom just did fine. And you weren't watching! <laughs> okay, Nathan. Watching doing what? Watching. You weren't cam focusing the camera. Okay, ready? Ah! Oh my gosh. A minute and one second. Well, that was supposed to be more satisfying. Okay. Okay, so I have the board marked out. I figured out how big I need the board. And I'm gonna cut it real quick, and then we'll cut the angles in it, and figure out how to mount it, I guess. So, yeah. I think I've forgotten to show you guys, but this, is the books and it looks beautiful um yeah they're all painted it just looks so
so good. So yeah, they look great. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut this angle out on the school saw. Then I'll be back. Okay, so quick update. Um, cut the two walls out. Now I'm making a little spot thing to go in between them because there's a, just the way the roof is. I'll show you in a second, but I gotta sand this down. I'll cut this down a little bit more. So let's do that right, real quick and I'll be back. Okay, so this should fit now. Um, let me show you what I'm talking about. So I have the walls cut out. Put them up real quick. They're not in place, like stuck in place yet. I'll do that in a minute once I get this piece ready. So basically how this is gonna work is, okay, so this is how it's gonna be set up. So this wall is gonna be flush with this right here. And this wall is gonna be flush with the staircase. And that gives us this little gap. And as you can see, there's a gap back there, see? So this piece of wood right here has an angle on the top of it. And this piece is to go right here to make it to where there is no gap. And that fits perfectly. So now we just have to cut it to the right length. Um, the right length this way. And then we can glue everything in place. That's that. And it's like 4 o'clock Thursday. Thursday, 4 o'clock. And ouch. I got the biggest splinter in my hand ever. And I pulled it out and I'm hurting so bad now. Anyways, so uh, I promised I'd get it done today. And so I had 4 o'clock and I'm really needing to get it done. And if I get it done in time, um, my brother can come pick it up on the way through town. So, from work. Anyways, so I need to hurry and glue this in and I'll get back with you. Okay, so it's Friday and she'll be here in about two hours to come pick it up. And there's just a couple of things I need to do. So last night, I was asleep. Or not while I was asleep, I was trying to get to sleep. I remembered, I still haven't painted the door. So I need to find like red or yellow or green or something and paint the door. <coughs> um, and I got the walls in. So, I got that back wall in too. There is still a little gap, but that's okay. I think it looks fine. And I actually, yeah, they're almost straight up and down. Yeah, they're fine. Okay. Also, I forgot. I am supposed to chisel out these flower boxes just a little bit to where we can stick these we can cut these flowers off and stick them in hot, she can hot glue them in. Or well, I don't actually know if I was supposed to do that. Either way, we need to chisel this out and then get some gray paint and just quickly spread it out in there to make it look like grass. So, I have my chisels somewhere. Where are they at? Here they are. So, I'm going to set you guys down and get to work. <sighs> Alright, so now to paint the door. Uh, the door is going to be made yellow, I think. So what I thought I could do was get a uh, paper, put it around the edges of the door, like, like this, and then close the door. That, and then, and then, uh, or spray paint it. That's not going to work. Um, so I'm going to have to hand paint it, I guess. Um, and I need to do something fast because I don't have much longer. And I actually know what we can use. So, somewhere over here, let me turn the light on. We have our paint which we used on the outside of our house on our doors. If I can find that paint, we can use that paint. It'll look just like our actual outside doors. So, uh, I think exterior semi gloss. I think this is it. Um, ow, ow. Uh, so, let's uh, mix this up and get that on there so that we can be done because she's probably gonna be here I don't know all the time but probably it's about an hour maybe a half an hour I don't know but I need to get it done and I need to put paint in the inside of this now I might use that but I don't think I will because it's glossy and it'll stand out a lot so <coughs> oh dude I do not feel good um but I need to get this done so All right, well, I just finished it. So, 
There's the house. Oh my goodness. So, so cute. let me show you what I did to the back. Okay. So I put some walls in. Nice. Yeah. So I did this just last night, so okay. you might want to make sure she's like, just be careful with it if you move it around. Well, I mean, she's not gonna open it until tomorrow. Morning. I know, but like, just when you move it around, don't grab it back. <laughs> it's not too sturdy yet. Mm -hmm. The cool has to drag. But, um, I wasn't sure if you were wanting me to put these in, so I just decided not to do it. Okay. Um, but I did chisel out the boxes, and I put a little green paint in there, and hopefully the where I didn't paint will not show. Do we have but, hot glue? Do we, we could try? Right now? Yeah, I think we have one somewhere. Well, I don't know. I just, because I would, um, we're getting ready to leave to go to my grandparents' house as yeah. soon as we get back. So I won't have time to do it. Sure, yeah. So, um, yeah. yeah, let me go ask mom. Here. Super cute. Oh, you did green. <laughs> yeah. Is it wet? Yes, it is oh, wet. Okay. Currently. Um, so yeah, I, I was gonna do, I was like, Dad, what do you think I should do? And he goes, I think you should do yellow. And I was like, yellow? Why would I do yellow? We didn't have any yellow paint, so I just used the paint that's on the front of our, of our doors. Oh yeah, okay. So we'll just let that dry and then yeah. we'll take it off. Super cute. Uh-huh. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh wait. Oh, oh, oh now look at the this. bookshelf. Yes. Oh my goodness. So cute. She's got a book. Yeah. yeah. I it took me forever to do this. It's like chiseling out the different <laughs> the different heights. It took me forever oh to do my that. Word. And yeah. they they all come out so she can move them around oh my and everything. Goodness. That's amazing. And I, they probably I genuinely will fit. did not have this in my head. I thought you were going to do like, because I've seen dollhouses where they're like little paper things. That's what I thought you were doing. This is oh. even better. This is no. so much better. <laughs> well, I figured that would be pretty sturdy and it would look good yeah. too. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, guys, so I forgot to record an outro and I forgot to take pictures of the dollhouse before it left. So if you guys want to see what it looks like before my niece um, decorated it and after she decorates it, you want to go check out my Instagram because I will put it on there and it's going to look so good when she gets her hands on it. I just know it. And I know this did come out after Christmas, so technically she already has, but it will. I will post a picture of what she does with it on my Instagram, so definitely go check that out. And guys, I sell stuff there, so you definitely want to go check out the stuff I sell. I also take custom orders, so if there's something you want me to try to make out of wood, I will do my best to make it and sell it to you. So, if you guys want to buy something, let me know. Direct message me on Instagram. Go follow my Instagram, subscribe, like the video, and have an amazing new year, you guys. So, um, God bless, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.